How's it going guys? She's a Cats here. Today's video is going to be a short addendum to the weapon guide I made a couple days ago. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. But this video is going to have some updated information now that patch 1.3.0 is actually out. First things first, let's quickly go over how to unlock the four new battle-tested NPCs. This is a detail I accidentally left out of the previous weapon guide video I made, and it's pretty important and a lot of people are kind of confused right now since the NPCs are there, but they have a white talk bubble over their head if you haven't fulfilled specific conditions, and people can't seem to figure out how to fight them. In order to unlock the four new NPCs, there are a few steps you have to take. Step one is beating the last four regular hunts. A lot of you have probably already done this. The reason you need to do this first is because completing these regular hunts will unlock the next step in the process. Step two is going to each of the latter four towns and completing the metal side quests in each of those towns. This will unlock the last four expert hunts, which have now been introduced as of patch 1.3.0. Step 3 is to beat each of those last four expert hunts. Each time you beat one of these expert hunts for the first time, it will unlock the corresponding battle-tested NPC for that region. Once you've done that, you should have access to all eight battle-tested NPCs. So, here are the four new ones, with their locations and their weaknesses. In Lower Cragspear, we have the battle-tested Dagger NPC, who's weak to Lightning and Sword. In the cemetery in Clearbrook is the BT Staff NPC, who's weak to Tome and Wind. Off to the left in Sunshade is the BT Fan NPC, who's weak to Axe and Ice. And finally, in the upper part of Shepherd's Rock is the BT Sword NPC, who's weak to Spear and Ice. Now with that out of the way, we can move on to our main topic. Sacred 4 is actually in the game, which changes the entire weapon hierarchy. So, let's take a look at which weapons are the best, taking Sacreds into account. Stat-wise, the Sacred 4 weapons actually follow a trend similar to the one already set by the Fenrir, Innocent, and Tyrant series. The way it worked previously was Tyrant would have stats right in between Fenrir's and Innocent's, with Fenrir having 20 more attack and 10 less magic, while Innocent had 10 more magic and 20 less attack. Sacred has 10 more attack and magic than Tyrant across all weapon types. This means that it will always have exactly 10 less attack than Fenrir, and the exact same magic stat as Innocent. However, looking at the grade, Sacred has a grade of 3.10, and yes, I know that's not how decimals work, I didn't design the system. Compared to Tyrant 4's grade of 3.9, and Fenrir or Innocent's grade of 3.8, this means that Sacred is significantly stronger than any of those weapons outside of the arena. A lot of people have been asking how exactly grade influences damage. At least from what I've tested, each 0.1 grade on offensive items equates to roughly 40 attack and magic, so a Sacred Sword 4 with 401 attack would deal more damage than a Fenrir Sword 4 with 411 attack, up until around 70 additional attack stat through accessories, which I probably don't have to tell you isn't exactly practical at this point in the game. So what does this all mean? Let's go over each of the weapon series one by one compared to Sacreds. Or, if you want the short version, there will be a timestamp on the screen so that you can skip to the overall verdict. First of all, Innocent 4s are dead on arrival. There's no reason to use them whatsoever. Outside of the arena, the grade differential makes Sacred the clear winner. Within the arena, they have the same magic stat as Sacreds, but Sacreds come with an extra 30 attack and 30 SP. Next, let's take a look at Fenrir's. Within the arena, they're still technically the best available weapon due to having the highest base attack stat. However, by playing Sacred Weapons instead, you gain an additional 20 magic and 30 SP in exchange for 10 attack, which in my opinion is a pretty good trade to make. As we mentioned earlier, Sacred is clearly stronger than Fenrir outside of the arena due to the grade differential, so basically you just need to decide which is better for arena usage. Plus 10 attack for using Fenrir, or plus 20 magic and plus 30 SP for using Sacred. I would usually go with the latter. For Tyrant, there's no question that this weapon is also dead on arrival. It has 10 less attack and magic than Sacred, on top of having a significantly worse bonus stat in crit compared to Sacred's 30 SP. Hopefully this video got uploaded fast enough that you guys didn't already use a ton of time and resources making those Tyrant weapons, because they are headed straight for the trash can. So, here's the final verdict. Sacred 4s are the best, Innocent and Tyrant are strictly worse in every way possible, and Fenrir 4 is better than Sacred specifically in Arena, 
and only if you value the 10 attack stat over 20 magic and 30 SP. And so you guys are probably going to want the weaknesses for the symbol enemies so that you can farm for those sacred weapons. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and leave these up on screen while I do the outro. So that covers everything for the weapon guide addendum for patch 1.3.0. It was definitely a big surprise to me that they decided to implement Sacred 4s now instead of later. While this means that the overall power level of the player base is higher than what it would normally be, this does also mean that they will probably be implementing Twilight 4, Adamant 4, and Atlas 4 as soon as their weapon series are introduced. Which means that unfortunately, you guys will probably have to be updating your weapon setups much more frequently. Which means more BT farming. Thankfully, with the powerful Sacred 4 weapons, farming for future content should be easier than ever. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, this has been Cheesy Cats. See ya!